You had a one game, Carl, with those pawns. Maybe. You did. Ooh. Maybe. That's why I found my rook in front of the. Yeah, your phone. Don't forget your phone, Carl. Your phone. You had a one game. <laughs> yeah, those pawns on the sixth rank, had he pushed them er, faster. Like, yeah, I thought that's what he was playing for. No, no, no. Once I put the rook in huh? front of the most vulnerable. I mean, yeah, I know, but that's it's neutralized. That's later. That's later. Neutralize its movement. Hello. 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this, this is one of the things that somebody did. I'm not sure. Oh, this is You had one game. Brian, I just played the craziest game against them. I just totally lost. But you had one game though. Play again? I'll play again. That was a total. You had me. Wow, you made that. What? You made a good game. Yeah, but you were winning. Well, the hardest game to win is the one game. Right. Yeah. That was the craziest game. I was losing and then I had a comeback. Wow, okay. I got to take a look at that one. Now it's. Oh, yeah, but you were. I, I thought it was in the back, so I was like, you know, relaxing. I know. I was, I was, uh, celebrating. Hey guys, Brian here. What a crazy finish indeed. Look at that eval bar goes from completely winning for white to completely winning for black and just, uh, oh, beautiful mate by Morphe Bob finished it off. And he was right at the end. He said he got too comfortable and that the hardest game to win is that one game. And he's, oh, it's very, very hard when you're the one playing, man. Outsiders, he's everything. 
And for those of you, did you guys see the mate for Hugh here? In the game, we had bishop takes. What would be the move for white here? Yes, take advantage of that pin. Boom. And uh, this will be checkmate. So, but wow, beautifully done by Morphe Bob. What a great comeback. And that dark square bishop was absolutely clutch here, delivering kind of the final blow and taking out the escape square over there. And just uh, what is a great, great comeback. And just, I think, going over here, you know, it all started off with this knight that seemed to be trapped and Bob decided to, you know, grab a ton of pawns for it. And this knight was was amazing, man. And I love how Bob kind of cleaned up the pawns and created that beautiful octopus knight there. That was that was sweet to watch. What a great maneuvering of that knight. But um and and going over here, was there a way out for this knight here? In the game we had B takes, what would be another move for black here? Yes, there is a way out. Take, take, and you Fanchetto, the knight, that is the way out. Um, but that was super, super hard to calculate. But again, Bob did a, he cleaned up all these pawns and cemented that octopus knight there. So that was very, very impressive indeed as well. And going over here, I think this is uh, an example of when your intuition is right. In the game, we had knight b5, but if you go back, Q initially did this, g4. I think he was afraid of this rook coming down. That's why he opted to play knight b5 to kind of outpost, but to block the path of the rook. But going back here, after rook b2, just queen b1. Keep an eye on this. And what are you going to do once this bishop leaves? The protection that queen can take. So uh, this could be one continuation. And white is winning at 8.7. But but a really, really crazy game, like Bob said at the end. And just goes to show you, man, never give up, never surrender. It can go from mate and two for your opponent to mate in 36 for you so if you find it and uh just a beautiful way to, to finish it off and beautiful peace coordination uh would expect nothing less from a person who admires uh the goat paul morphy so <laughs> nicely done morphy bob great fight hugh hope you guys enjoyed it let me know that the game comments below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe with that bonification thanks we'll see you guys tomorrow